Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. I just thought I'd do a little finished product video for you, a finished project video, if you will. Um, these were, one thing with me, I have a crazy yarn stash. I've got a crazy fabric stash. Whenever I find something on clearance, um, I just kind of grab it for any kind of future use. I'm that kind of uh, crafter. Um, but believe me, things do actually eventually get used. Um, but it just so happened I had a ton of yarn here when the wildfires were going on. So they were looking for people to make things for them. Uh, wombat pouches, bat roll-ups, uh, rodent and bird nests, which is what I made. Um, so these are just some of the finished projects that I did in the bird nest area. Uh, the bird and rodent nest, if you will. I've still got a few more that I'm making. Um, they seem to have enough now. I was able to get some off, um, but they do have enough now. But I'm continuing to make them because I can donate them to local wildlifes here in my area that can always use them. So this was the finished project for right now. I'm also making some of the mask without the fabric that I have. Again, my stash came in handy. My husband's always like, do you really need more? Do you really need that? And anytime, like I said, I buy everything on clearance, so now I have got materials up the bazoo to help out where I can. So right now, um, like I said, I work for a vet clinic, and we are short on masks. So I went ahead and made uh, as many as I could over the weekend before I had to go back to work and the girls were ever so grateful when I brought them in. I am now making more for the whole clinic and their families. Um, it's the least I can do with what I've got so I will show you those finished products in the same video here as soon as I get a few done. A few more done. The ones that I made I already took in and they were all put to good use but like I said we are getting short on masks and we are considered an essential so we have to stay open we are doing everything curbside and over the phone or through the internet uh, so we are trying to stay as safe as possible we are breaking down into two separate teams to kind of keep us a little bit more separated and on different days so we'll see how that goes we are trying everything we can we are thinking outside the box in this kind of situation, and I absolutely love how everyone has come together um, and trying to make this work. And we, like I said, we are putting ourselves at risk by having to be out and in this situation. So I thought if I could help try to make everybody a little bit safer, then I will do my part. So anyway, these are my first projects uh, that I did for the Australian wildfires and now I'm continuing to make them because believe me I have the yarn to do so and I'm going to donate these to the wildlife foundations around my area here so that they can use them as well. All right everybody again stay safe stay in if you can if you have to go out take precautions and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.